Liu Yang. She is a chairman and chief investment officer at Atlantis Investment Management. So, more growth? Yes. No landing? <clears throat> Soft landing, we argue about the soft or hard, but there is a perfect landing, I can see. Uh, the most importantly is the sentiment towards China equities has improved significantly. There are many reasons. Uh, number one, you know, there's a reduced uh, uh, panic feeling about the China's uh, growth. Uh, obviously, we do have a slower growth, but higher and increased liquidity. Secondly, I'm sure a lot of money coming to Hong Kong. You know, we are at the frontier. We can feel the, the temperature of the money coming and uh, getting a little bit hot from the freezing temperature last year. And uh, there's a lot of inflows I feel very uh, happy about. You know, the eight shares as a represent. Uh, representative uh, uh, number, you know, uh, because that's uh, uh, all the major China uh, sectors uh, uh, you can uh, you can buy when when you like in Hong Kong, you know, but telecom, banks, insurance, and uh, all those they are flying this year. So I'm a happy person today. You may be happy. You weren't very happy last time on January the third when you appeared. You were saying the Hong Kong market is hopeless. Okay, Hong Kong market is hopeless in a way. It's because the government reason, you know, because you know what I uh, talk about now. Um, but but, uh, you know, there are, uh, I also said, there are smart investors are coming. There are, you know, the, the market always 20, 20, 80 percent gain, 20 percent coming first. Uh, but you also talked about the market being manipulated by an unnamed hand, a hidden hand. Uh, hidden, uh, hidden agenda, hi, uh, invisible hands, I said. I think you're right, yes. uh, Nowadays, uh, uh, government become more visible, a lot of money become invisible. But the point is, uh, it still be the case. Uh, think about, uh, in two to three months, the market went up by 4,000 points, okay? 3,800, doesn't matter, you know, 4,000, mm. that's the range. Um, and now many investors were there. Okay, it just showed up quite quickly. Were you there? I, I'm there because, you know, last year I'm fully invested. Uh, I did my fine tuning towards year end equity uh, uh, strategy. I, I'm always a bull, and I, I do believe, I strongly believe Warren Buffett's rule, which is the stick to the fundamentals, buying the value stocks when they were oversold or misperception, you know, panic selling when came. So that's all the series. Very simple, but come back is there are many reasons the market go up. Um, because we all realize the invisible hands. Number one, because um, you have been talking with many people, they all, you know, find out and uh, identify what's going on now than last year. Last year we were in the dark one way or another because there are a lot of money flow around. Yeah. But now this year, you know, with the fundamentals, soft landing, government liquidity increase, and, uh, you know, the monetary policies uh, become from a tightening, become a community, whatever the way you say. Uh, but obviously, you know, the panic feeling was gone. Yeah. And Yang, you, you, were, you were actually so depressed last time you were sitting I was, here. You were I was depressed. You were tearing your hair out. I think, I don't know what happened last Come year. On. Uh, <laughs> I was depressed, yeah. but uh, that's by... Uh, well, you're not anymore. I, I'm emotional. Yeah. Everybody emotional when you, or, you know, when you... Uh, and, uh, say, you know, there's a uh, invisible hands that's turn up the market and uh, there are so many rumors uh, 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 around, of course, but uh, um, I'm fully invested. I was fully invested last year. I'm now, so I'm, my, my, you know, my portfolio's average went up, um, you know, by 20%. That's, that's why I'm happy. Well, I, I, I'm going to go and talk about your individual stock strategy yes. in a minute or two, but I want to just also get your views to what happens now. Okay, we've seen two months where we get gains on the Hang Seng of, what, 17, 18 percent so far. You are we've... challenging me. <laughs> I'm saying, what happens next? What happens uh, in the next two months? Do we flatline? Do we go down? What happens? After 3,000 to 4,000 points up, obviously the market wanted to take a rest. The market wanted to see a few things. Number one, the NPC meeting. What will be the top agenda? And number two, the new leaders, new uh, China, very uh, uh, big milestones in terms of the fifth or sixth uh, uh, generation of leadership. When, how, when they comes, what they will, where they will take China going forward. Number three, uh, uh, you know, the, all the economists, the strategists, they become more short-sighted. You know why? They have to. They have to judge the economic growth on month by month, but you cannot. You have, when you're doing SS uh, allocation or strategy, you have to look at it beyond one year. Okay, it's becoming extremely difficult. That's why I was depressed at that time, because uh, they pushed down Hong Kong, China so much. Now you can see the game turn around, they're coming back. Right. They think China, 
you know, will be the next uh, big returns. Okay, so it's not hopeless anymore. Uh, right. Hopeless is government. Okay, the market can turn around very fast because market only react on three things, liquidity, fundamentals, and the momentum. Okay, let's talk about liquidity first of all. We have yes. this LTRO thing going on in Europe at the moment to say ECB yes. lending money out yes. cheaply. Is that adding to the liquidity you're seeing from foreign money uh, flows? Um, Sentiment-wise, absolutely. But we are we all expecting the liquidity from the United States, which is Q3. We're talking about for a few months. And the Euro Europe already moving forward with the risk card, okay? But the U.S. is still hold on very well. I don't know how Bernanke the game is playing, but obviously he's very tricky at this very moment. We have to watch that for sure. Secondly, momentum. Momentum is in the air. I always say that. Where it comes, we don't know, but momentum will be react based on the policy shifts. Yang, one more question, which is, what is your top pick at the moment? Topics, uh, buying H shares, all the big names. All the H shares. Um, you have to do some trading, of obviously, but I have been accumulating telecom, oil, and banks. You know, I have, uh, I have been underweighting these three major sectors, which dominated in all the China indices for two years. Now, I'm overweighting them, and they have been flying. Um, there are many reasons why. Um, but uh, one thing is they are really cheap. Fundamentals again. Yes, There we absolutely. go. Thank you. Uh, Liu Yang, thank you so much for joining us at Lancaster Investment Management there.